Hello, fruity cuties. What's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan. Somebody sent me something for my birthday, a big box of goodies, and I was like, you know what? Let me film this because this is the coolest thing I have ever gotten. So I needed to film that. But before I unbox all of my really cool birthday treats, I wanted to tell you guys, remind you, that I have a cool giveaway that I'm doing for my birthday. I'm turning 39 on Thursday, March 28th, okay. And to celebrate, I am giving away one paperback copy of Raw Vegan Excuses and one paperback copy of the Raw Vegan Beauty Book. If you'd like to be in the running to win, all you have to do is go to my Instagram. I'll leave the link below to the post and you just have to type in which book you'd like to win. I'll be choosing one winner to win the beauty book and one winner to win Raw Vegan Excuses. So I'll do that on Thursday morning as soon as I get up. I'm actually going to be getting up at 4.30 a.m. on Thursday. <laughs> so it's going to be pretty early. Um because I'm going on a hot air balloon for my 39th birthday. And um, I wanted to encourage you guys to please do something that you've never done before every birthday, okay? I usually don't celebrate my birthday. This is the first year I'm ever telling you guys it's my birthday. Um, I never celebrate it, but I just got inspired um, this year to do it. So every year I want you to do something or go somewhere you've never gone before because did you know that new experiences actually open up new pathways in your brain? It actually expands your mind when you have new experiences. And I want you to know what you did on your 39th birthday, your 40th, your 41st, your 42nd. Because you know, honestly, if you ask me, hey Jeanette, what did you do on your 21st birthday? I couldn't fucking tell you. Jeanette, what'd you do on your 25th, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. If you ask me what did I do on my 38th birthday last year, I didn't do anything. I worked. I've been working my whole life on my birthday. So I want you to do something new every fucking year. And this year, I'm going on a hot air balloon, which I've never done before. I am terrified of heights. So I'm doing something new and something very, very, very scary to me. Very scary. By the way, I wanted to also let you know that I have a retreat coming up. And I have ordered a bunch of books. So for everyone coming, there's 10 women coming to the retreat. All right. We actually have eight women signed up and we have two spots left. So if you'd like to come to the Raw Beauty Retreat, you can do that. Click the link below, check it out, and request information. This book is the inspiration for the retreat. I'm going to bring this book to life, and I'm really, really excited. If you are coming to the retreat, do me a favor and do not buy this book because you will be getting a copy of both Raw Vegan Excuses and the Raw Vegan Beauty book in your gift bag, okay? You're also going to be getting some really cool goodies as well. Lots of other cool things. Um, I just tested out some sleep masks. So I think I'm going to be putting one of these sleep masks in everybody's um, gift bag as well because they're really soft, really comfortable, and I like them a lot. But I just want to let you know, if you're coming to the retreat, do not buy my book. You're going to be getting it. I ordered 10 new copies fresh off the press. By the way, when you're an author on Amazon, it's kind of cool because you get your books at cost. Okay, so you can order author copies of the book. Of course, this book is quite expensive because of... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Guys, I'm basically a fucking mess. All right, so I'm just going to be real with you guys. I just spilled my green juice <laughs> and broke my bottle. Uh, what do I do now? Do I stop the video and like clean it up? Oh, God. No, I'm just going to film while I deal with it. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. How are you guys? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. 
I know. This was supposed to be a fun, cute, professional, sexy unboxing video. <sighs> this juice was really good, too. Uh, and now y'all going to come for me about using paper towels and every. Oh, and I have to wash my rug. Look at what happened to my rug. <laughs> uh, not ideal. Anyway, um, this leads me into another topic I wanted to discuss. So basically, oh my God, this is gross. This is terrible. Um, basically, I was drinking an amazing, delicious juice that I made yesterday. Apple, lemon, ginger, cucumber, romaine, parsley. Okay, really good. Okay, I have to deal with this. <laughs> You guys are not going to watch this. But wait, the unboxing's really cool. Okay, I'll do the unboxing in another video. Fuck it. But listen, I am going to continue this video because this is real life. So basically, what I wanted to tell you real quick about... Hold on, I need more materials. What I wanted to tell you real quick about the juice situation is that I used to... I used to... Sorry, I'm just looking for a bag and stuff. I used to have celery juice every single morning. Okay, I think there's no bags in there. I used to have celery juice every morning, and uh, now I just have juices that I love because life is a little short, and I don't recommend that you try to do the raw food diet consuming things that you don't like. And let me explain. I know Medical Medium says that celery juice is amazing, and I know some of you guys do like celery juice, and that's amazing. You should continue doing that. But if you hate it, if you're struggling through drinking celery juice, then I don't think that that's the way that you're going to heal. Here's my theory. And listen, I'm no medical medium. I don't talk to the fucking source, although I definitely do talk, talk to the source every day. So I don't know why I said that. I talk to God every single morning. Um, it's the only way that I've survived the past year. Okay, so I do talk to Source, but maybe not as um, prolifically as medical medium. Um, but I wanted to say that the key for me in the last 13 years, because I don't know if medical medium is raw for 13 years. I don't actually know that. Does anybody know that information? Has he been eating healthy for 13 years? Because when I say raw, I really mean healthy. Um, I have to mop the floor, obviously. But I don't know if he's been eating raw for 13 years, but I have. So I'm just going to tell you what has worked for me is that I only, only consume things that taste really good to me. And sometimes I do drink celery juice because I really do enjoy it sometimes, but I'm not going to drink it every single day because it doesn't taste good to me. And if you try to do a raw food diet, if you try to do a raw food diet and you try to just suffer through it, then basically, you know what's going to happen? You're going to give up because if it's not enjoyable, you're not going to stick to it long enough to see the results. It takes time to heal naturally. It takes time to see results on a raw food diet. And if you're suffering through it with the wheatgrass and the fucking gross ass, nasty ass herbs and just nasty green juice, you know, things that you don't enjoy, you're not at all going to be able to stick to it long enough to see the results. So here's what I recommend to all my clients and to you right now. I recommend you find things that you love that taste really, really, really good and happen to be healthy as well. Okay, so I did a minimal cleanup job and I'm going to have to obviously vacuum because the glass and I have to mop and I have to wash the rug. But you know what? Since we're here, fuck it. Let's continue with the video. But I hope you understood that, okay? With the green juice and the celery juice thing. Yeah, celery juice is healing. I understand that. But you know what's also healing? Apple, lemon, ginger, parsley, romaine, cucumber juice. It's fucking delicious and it's healing. And yeah, there's a lot of apples in there. And apples and lemon and ginger just make the most delicious juice. Throw in some greens. There you go. You have an amazing green juice. It's healthy. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to satisfy you. You're going to enjoy it. And you're going to heal at the same time. You're going to lose weight. You're going to clear your skin. You're going to heal any and all health issues. See, 
I don't think we're supposed to be suffering in this life. I think we're supposed to find healthy food we love and enjoy it. So no, I am not for celery juice if you hate celery juice. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense because, I mean, am I the only one that feels like we're not supposed to suffer here? All right, let's unbox this so that I can go and clean up. I hate that because I was loving that green juice and I'm not juicing today. I juice every other day or every three days. I am not juicing today, but kind of upset that I spilled that. Okay, let me let it go. Um, the first thing is this really cool, really soft watermelon little um, pillow, which is the cutest thing I've ever seen. You know where that's going. It's going straight to my nook. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, next. Oh my God, you guys don't even know. This is a very good friend of mine. I'm not going to say who because I want to respect her privacy, but this is a really good friend of mine. And I knew this, I knew this gift was going to be amazing. So the next thing in the box are these cards, which I don't even know how she did this. I have no idea how she did this. And on the back, it says affirmation. And I'm going to write my affirmations on here. I look at vision cards every morning. So I'm going to create my new 2024 vision cards with these. Oh my God, this is the coolest thing ever. This is the coolest thing ever. Okay, here's the card. It's so freaking beautiful. I'm not going to read that on camera because it's, you know, going to make me cry. This is a very good friend of mine. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I'm so excited. Thank you guys for being here with me. And if you'd like to send me something, my birthday is on Thursday. I'll leave my address below. Um, all you stalkers out there, it's not my real address. It's my P.O. box. <gasps> Ooh, what? Ooh, what is this? Recycled? Made of 75% recycled plastic? That's cool. And you know what? I fucking need highlighters so bad. Wow. So my friend is definitely psychic from bottle to highlighter. Oh my God, they're made from plastic bottles. That's really fucking cool. Okay, so I really need highlighters because, oh, this is so cool. Hold on, I want to open them. I really need highlighters because I'm actually starting. Oh, highlighters would be great for you too because you are about to win one of my books. And if you win the Raw Vegan Excuses book, you're definitely going to want to highlight some shit in there. Let me tell you. I need highlighters because I'm actually starting a book club with my Misfit Mondays group. Sorry, I'm looking behind me for the book. Okay, so speaking of medical medium, somebody gave me that. Um, I never read it though. I did listen to his audiobook and it was pretty good, but I just, where is it? Where is it? Yes, I am starting to do this on April 8th. On April 8th, we will be, me and my Misfit Mondays group are going to be reading Return to the Brain of Eden. Now, I read this twice many years ago. Okay, many, many, I'm talking about over 10 years ago. I highlighted so many things in the book. I took so many notes. I lent my book to somebody. And this piece of shit loser that I lent the book to, I think he either lost the book or he just never gave it back. So instead, he sent me a new copy. But like, I had so many notes highlighted in the book. And if you're watching this, I'm not going to say your name. But if you're watching this and you know who you are and you have my book, can you please fucking send it to me? My PO box is below. All right, because I want my original book. I had so many notes and highlights. If you're not watching this, which I know you fucking are, if you're not watching this, fine. Okay, well, I got highlighters. I got the book. I'm going to start reading it on April 8th with my community. If you are somebody who's interested in the raw food diet, I would, prob I would highly, highly recommend you get raw vegan excuses now. Just kidding. I would honestly highly recommend you get this book because this book changed my life. This book helped me finally understand what happened to us when we stopped eating a fruit-based diet. And it helped me understand that fruit is actually our species-specific food. It's a kind of a difficult book to read because it's for really smart people. I'm not that smart. But um, 
that's why I had to read it twice and also highlight a lot of things. So I'm excited to do that again. Thank you, Sherry. I need, I fucking needed these. You have no idea. That's, oh no, I said her name. <laughs> no, <laughs> you have no idea. I really needed those. Okay. She's going to fucking kill me. And I, I'm not editing. I'm not editing. Oh my God. Okay, let's continue. She's going to literally kill me. I'm going to have to edit this video. I don't have time. Okay. To cover yourself from radiation at night or hold it when not in use. Ooh, have you guys ever had one of these? Ah, oh, I've always wanted this. <gasps> because sometimes I travel and I don't take my alarm. I travel, you know, sometimes I'm actually traveling tomorrow. I'm going to Orlando to do a hot air balloon. So it's about four hour drive, four or five hours. And I'm going to have to use my phone as my alarm. So now I can sleep with my phone on. And sometimes I like to do that. I like to put on like 432 hertz or like affirmation videos and sleep with it. But I don't want the EMF radiation. So now I can put my phone in here next to my bed and it won't give me radiation in the middle of the night. Oh, that's fucking cool see that's a cool ass gift she gives me the best gifts ever like do you have anybody in your life like that like they are the they are so good with gifts and i gotta tell you i am so shitty i'm so shitty giving people gifts i just never know what to give them what in the world is this is this for tea because i'm about to return my tea kettle i'm not using it and, oh my God, what is this? Wait a minute, what is this? Oh my God, I feel like it's for tea and I was literally about to order. Is this for tea? Because I was about to order something. I don't know what it is. Can somebody tell me? I was fucking about to order this. Do you put this in a, in a, gla in a bottle, like um, a cup? And this is where you put your loose leaf tea? If that's what it is, then I cannot believe it because I'm about to return my tea kettle. I'm not using it. It was $20 or something. And um, yeah, it's just a waste and I'm not using it. I don't really heat up tea. I like to have it like iced tea. Okay. So like that was no point for me to buy that tea kettle. Oh my God. I think this is exactly what I want. If that's what it is. I think that's what it is. It just makes sense. Right? Okay. Okay. Now, next, there's only a few items left, okay? Four or five items. Ooh, I'm excited. I love opening gifts. Okay, thank you so much. All right, you're awesome. 30 pop open cards with messages inside. Ooh, what? Ooh, what in the world? Hold on, I cut my nails the other day. Ugh really short because I was just tired of having it was really hard for me I'm writing a lot of books right now I'm doing a lot of computer work and it was really hard for me to type and even put on earrings so I just cut my nails really really short pop open here I don't get it oh wait 30 pop open cards pop open oh Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? This reminds me, oh. when I was growing up, my sister loved the pop open, you know, like the 30 days of Christmas where you have like chocolate inside, those big calendars, they're called um, Navi, oh. somebody knows it, write it down below. What were those called? My mom used to buy them every year. She bought them one year for me. And I ate every single chocolate, the 30 days. I ate 30 pieces of chocolate in one day. So that's the last time she bought it for me. She bought it for me once. I ate all the chocolate in one day. And um, she got mad at me or like something, I don't know, whatever. And Or I got mad at me and I was like, don't buy me that ever again. Nativity. Is, I think it's called the nativity calendar. Anyway, you pop it open and you have chocolate inside. And now it's a fucking... Do you know what you are? You are marvelous. Oh my God, this is so fucking... And the sound, it reminds me so much of my childhood. 
because my sister, she was obsessed with these calendars. She was so good, even though the crazy thing is that she was really overweight, but she did not have a food addiction at all. Like she loved processed foods, you know, and like pizza was her favorite food and everything, but she was able to eat one piece of chocolate. She was able to just have one and like I never knew how she did it. And she was very overweight, but that's because of the steroids and all the medication and stuff. That And she was in a wheelchair too. So by being yourself, you put something wonderful into the world that was not there before. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, just one more. And then I'm going to do one every day. Oh, I love that sound. There is only one you and you are important. Oh my God. I love it. Dude, this is such a cool gift. How do people come up with these gifts? Feel good, pass it on. Some ways to give a card. Wow. Each card is a surprise. Each card is an inspiration. Some people to consider giving a card to a friend who always warms their heart. The loved one's. You can't wait to see the neighbor who brightens your day. Oh, I should give cards. Oh, it's not for me. Oh, it's to give to people. Oh, duh. Oh, sorry. I thought I was just going to open one every day. Okay, so I opened my three. So you know what I'm going to do now. Oh, I get it. I get it. Place on a nightstand or pillow. Left on a desk. Attached to a bouquet of flowers. Add to a place sitting for a holiday meal. I feel like people are not gonna know to open it. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna see two friends that I never see um, tomorrow, so I'm gonna give two to them, and I'm also gonna. Oh my god, I'm excited! I'm gonna give one to the hot air balloon pilot, and I'm gonna give one to a random stranger tomorrow. So I'm gonna put four in my wallet. Oh, this is such a cool idea. Thank God I read that. Pass it on. I thought they were for me. Just every day. <laughs> Opening one. Okay, yep, that's what I'm going to do. All right. I'm excited. That's fucking cool. She's just so creative. My friend who, who buys me these amazing gifts. So creative. Okay. Wow, I would have never... Where did she even find that? Okay, next we have... Oh, my God. So cool. Oh, natural incense. <gasps> what? Sandalwood, cinnamon, clove, and spices made of the highest quality ingredients in compliance with international regulations. Dude, that's cool. Because you know, incense, and I hate to I hate to tell you this, guys. Incense can be really toxic. Oh my God, what in the world is this? It's a little incense holder. Now that's how you know these were expensive. It comes with a fucking holder. That's how you know these were fucking shmoney. Yeah, this woman that sent me this, she has shmoney. Ooh, ooh, I'm obsessed with incense. I, I put on incense all the time. Sometimes I do Palo Santos, but I really love incense, especially when I do yoga. So I do yoga every single day. And so I like to make it smell nice. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Wow, I didn't even know that existed, healthy incense. Who knew? Uh, three more gifts. Okay, let me speed it up. This has already been a 20 minute video, I'm sorry. Okay, what's next? What is next, what in the, oh! Oh my God, no she did fucking not get me. Oh my goodness, of course. Oh, they smell so good. Ooh, you know what I learned recently? You guys are not gonna like this. Okay, let me just adjust, adjust the camera. What I learned recently is that most of the dates in stores are actually steamed. I know y'all are not going to like this, but here's the thing. If you see dates in like Costco that are super juicy looking, that is a sign, that is a clear indication that they have actually been heat treated 
and or steamed. Dates should actually look like this. Okay, they should be very soft, but they should look dry like this. Now you open them up and they should be very gooey inside. Yeah, like this. Also, you always, even if they're pitted dates, you always, always, always need to open them up because first of all, I've bought pitted dates before and the seed was still in there, like randomly, once or twice. The other reason is because there could be wasp poop inside dates, okay? Inside the dates, it could be really black and that's wasp poop. So you always open up your dates. You always open them up and check before you put them in your blender or your dressings. And these dates, they smell like caramel and they look so good. Even though on the outside, they look kind of dry, right? But that's how dates are supposed to look. I just need you to know that. And I feel like a lot of people are not gonna get to this part of the video because it's 25 minutes in. And um, that's a shame. So maybe I'll do another video on just on dates and how they're supposed to look and what I found out recently. And the only reason I found that out is because somebody in my Misfit Mondays community taught me that, okay? I just want you to know, I learn so much from my community. So I highly recommend you check it out, Misfit Mondays. We had a new member yesterday. Shout out to Matthew Kenny. I think that's his name. Kennedy? Yeah. Matthew Kenny is the owner of... Um, Pure Food and Wine restaurant. Matthew Kennedy is our new member. Thank you so much uh, for joining. And he's actually from Australia. So I love that. Okay, we have members. We have somebody in Thailand. We have people from California. We have people all around the world that are in Misfit Mondays. And ooh, this is exciting. So these dates are from California. They seem super fresh. And they're organic, which I like. I really only eat organic dates, to be honest, because anything that I can't peel, I want it to be organic. Okay. Ooh, that's exciting. All right. And what's next? Thank you so much. Orange rooibos tea. Ooh. From South... Oh, that smells really good. From South Africa. Wow. Yeah, I'm excited because this looks like it's going to taste amazing. I love to make tea, like um, uh, iced tea, okay? Because I just don't like to drink plain water. And sometimes, you know, I don't have fruit to, like I, I don't always want to have the same flavor. So like, yes, I do like to put strawberries or passion fruit in my water, but tea is really nice too. And it's actually very, very healing. Just make sure your tea is caffeine free. Ooh, I'm excited. Orange peel, red rooibos tea. I know that this is going to be really good because this brand is super high quality. Wow. Oh, thank you so much. I got to look up the benefits. Does anybody know the healing properties of red rooibos tea? That's exciting. Ooh, that's cool. Sorry, I'm just looking at it. Really cool. Thank you so much. And the last gift, oh, the best gifts ever. Two Amazon gift cards. Are you kidding me? Oh, you know how I feel about Amazon. I know, I know. I'm part of the problem. But listen, listen, I can't be perfect, boo. I'm, you know I'm going to buy things that I want to support on Amazon, okay? Like you know, raw vegan products. Honestly, the first thing I know I'm going to buy is a, there's this book that I've been looking at. I can't remember the title now, but I've been dying to get this book. And the other thing I'm going to get on Amazon with these gift cards is dried mulberries because there is nothing better than frozen bananas and dried mulberries in the blender. Tiny bit of water, put a little bit of hemp seeds in there, maybe a little vanilla bean, blend it up and you have the most delicious nice cream of your life. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to make dressing with these dates tonight because it's all about the quality of your ingredients and the higher quality ingredients you have, the better things will taste. Like for example, and this is the last thing I'll say, last night I made the green juice for me and I gave some to Awa and she's like, oh my God, what is in this? And I was like, oh, I told her it was apples, lemon, ginger, cucumber, romaine, parsley. And she's like, why is it so good? And I told her it's because the apples taste really, really good. They were pink lady organic apples. Everything in the juice was organic. And that's really important. 
you have to have high quality ingredients to make high quality food delicious food so you can't just put things in the blender and expect them to taste good they've got to be high quality so in conclusion i want to say thank you thank you thank you so much to my beautiful amazing friend who got me all these amazing goodies for my birthday if you'd like to get me something you don't have to to help me out and be nice and kind to me for my birthday all i want you to do is eat raw on march 28th let me know below, comment down below if you're going to do that. If you're going to do that, do leave a hashtag eat fruit be cute below. That would make me the happiest person on earth. If I knew that hundreds of people were going to eat 100% raw vegan for my birthday on March 28th, that would be amazing. So I'll do a post about that too on Instagram. And I just want to remind you that you're awesome and i thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next episode again go to instagram i'll leave the link below you can win a copy of raw vegan excuses or raw vegan beauty book on thursday march 28th to celebrate my birthday i'm also going to be giving all of my courses and books and everything for 40 percent off I was going to do 39% off because I'm turning 39, but I was like, that's a weird number. So I'm going to do 40% off everything, all my courses and books and programs. I'm going to leave um, the links in the description, but the sale is going to be only for Thursday and maybe, th maybe over the weekend too. So it's going to start on March 28th and I'll send out a newsletter. If you're not on my newsletter, you can sign up by going to 100freerecipes.com. Make sure you download my free recipe book. That puts you on my newsletter and you'll get the um, links to purchase anything you'd like for 40% off on Thursday, March 28th. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited. This is my favorite thing by far in the, in the package. Oh my God, that's cool. Wow. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, boo.